What's up everybody, this is Karai Koda, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on how to edit with Sony Vegas Pro 14. I promised you guys a while back I'll do this video when I made the how to uh, get Sony Vegas Pro 14. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on how to edit your videos, how to add text, how to color grade, make your videos brighter, and also the most important thing, the best possible render settings. Now with all that being said, let's go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Let's see if we can hit a thousand likes because I worked so hard for you guys to make the best awesome videos and help you guys out. So please smash that thumbs up button. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you guys want to do is go ahead and open up Sony Vegas Pro 14 and what you guys want to do next is basically click on this little wheel right here where it says project video properties click that and make sure you match my project properties with your project properties so for me width and height make sure you type in 1920 by 1080 on the full resolution rendering quality make sure this is on best and also the pixel format make sure it's on 32 bit floating point uh, video levels when you guys got this all copied down, go ahead and click on start all new projects with these settings, click apply and OK. Now that you're set there, we're going to go ahead and import your media clips. Now you guys are probably looking at Sony Vegas Pro like, whoa, this is so confusing, Karai Code, I don't know anything. Don't worry, Karai Code has your back and I'm going to demonstrate you guys everything you need to know. It's not much different than Sony Vegas Pro 13, but it's pretty cool because uh, they fixed a lot of the crash issues previously known on the uh, predecessor of this program. Now. What you guys want to do is click this little button right here where it says open on the top left corner of your screen. Click that and basically go ahead and add your videos. I'm going to go ahead and add my intro first. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and add my gameplay next. And there you go. Now, if you guys don't see the screen right here where it shows you guys your uh, contents, make sure you click on view. Hover over window layouts and click default layout. This is going to bring back the default layout at any time if you guys get lost. Now that we got that out of the way, you're going to want to go ahead and click on your timeline and scroll. Once you guys do that, on both your clips, make sure you right click on them and click properties. Untick the maintain aspect ratio and click disable resample. Do the same thing to all your other clips in the timeline. Every other clip you guys have should do this and click OK. The reason you guys want to do this is because if you if you leave the resample on, you might get some lag and it's going to be ghostly and you guys don't want that to happen. You want a smooth gameplay or a smooth video. Now once you guys got that done, you want to go ahead and add in a fade in offset and fade out offset. Now if you guys don't know what that means, let me go ahead and mute this real quick. It's basically when the intro is done, you guys can see it jumps right into the clip. What you guys want to do is have it fade in and fade out. This is optional, but personally, I find out that this is more professional and it gives your overall video a cleaner look. So go ahead and scroll with your little mouse button and where it shows a little blue triangle, you want to drag that all the way to about 20. So fade out offset at 20. Now on the fade in offset on your this video, go ahead and put that 20 as well. So now when we play it from the beginning, Here's my intro. By the way, if you guys don't know how to make an intro, I have a video on my channel on how to make an intro. And there you go. See, it's a lot cleaner. And yeah, now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to add text to your videos, which is super easy. Now, at any point in the video, underneath the timeline, right click it and click insert video track. Now, you're going to see an empty space above your video. So click above the empty space, right click and insert text media and type in any text you guys want. You're going to have a sample text, so I'm going to go ahead and type in how to. Now, a lot of you guys have been kept asking me, Yo, Karai Code, how do you make your intro so the background blurs and you have that text right there when you demonstrate a video? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I do that. So what I'm going to do is at any point of the video where I want my text to show, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, split the track, play the video, uh, give it a couple seconds, pause it and split the track again, and basically drag this right here. And what I'm going to do next is blur the background. To do that, hit Alt and 8 on your keyboard, and it's going to bring out your uh, plugins right here. Make sure you scroll down and you want to look for uh, glossy and blur. Click on medium, click, hold, drag, right there. Now the background is blurred. Now that we got that out of the way, you're going to want to make your text look a little bit more fancier. You don't want it boring. So click on generated media, hover over the how to or whatever text you guys have and select the font you guys like. I recommend you guys go to thefont.com and pick out some custom fonts because uh, honestly, the default fonts you guys get in Sony Vegas are not that good. So make sure you go to thefont.com and pick out good fonts. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a nice color like that right here. Now what you guys can do is basically go ahead and click on outline. You guys can scroll down, 
on the outline color you can click this little box scroll down to this one and click on black outline width type in 6.0 and basically just mess around with the settings as you guys can see the text pops out more how to right what you can also do i don't really do this much but what you can also do is tick shadow enabled and have a little shadow right there personally i leave it off but if you guys think it looks better do that now i'm going to add another text so right click insert video track right click insert video track and basically i'm going to add my two other text how to edit your so when we click right here bam make sure again you guys match it you match your uh generated media with the splitter tracks and you guys get it basically uh fix the text up and all that stuff i'm not gonna get too much into it because uh it's the same thing so when you play it you guys will see the background blurs i have my text and it unblurs and text is gone that's how i make my little intros now once you guys got that done, uh, what you can also do is add in a color, uh, basically color grading your videos, making it look a little bit brighter if you guys want it to make it look nicer. I don't really use this, but if I have gameplay, I, I sometimes do. So what you want to do is left click on the, the little media over here, right click and click on video event FX and make sure you guys double click on the Vegas color curves and click OK. Now you guys can see little two dots right here, right here and right here. Go ahead and drag this slightly up and the other one slightly down. So as you guys can see, the video is a bit more brighter. So this is with the brightness on, and this is with the brightness off. You guys can see there's a big difference. So I recommend you guys do this, but don't make it look too crazy. Don't make it way too bright. You guys don't want to. You don't want to make it look ugly. So make sure you add the right amount of color grading. Now that we got that out of the way, you guys are probably thinking, okay, how can I add music now? Like, same thing. You click on open. Uh, find any music track you guys want. Now, you guys can see, I don't see my music track here, so you can do view, window layouts, default layout. But because the music track is already on the timeline, I'm going to just go ahead and drag that down. And there you guys go. Whoops, that's not the music track. This one is. You guys got to be careful because uh, you can mess around like that. So there you guys go. Here's my little music right here. I'm going to go ahead and start that after the intro. And there you guys go. Now, if you guys have gameplay and your music is too loud, what you guys can do is tone down the volume. You can see the volume right here where it says 0 dB on the music. Go ahead and drag the volume slider more down. I normally leave it around 40 decibels or more. It depends on the audio itself, how loud the sound waves are. And there you guys go. So now, when you guys play the video, it's going to look nice. Everything's going to be ready to go and you're ready to render. Now, before you guys render, you're going to see little triangles right here. At the very right here, at the very beginning of the timeline. Click this little yellow triangle and drag that all the way at the end of the video. So basically, you're going to want to have a triangle at the end of your video and a triangle at the beginning of your video. This is called your render point. Now, this is what's going to render out your video. And you guys want to make sure you have the triangle all the way to the end. Sometimes people forget this. They put the triangle in the beginning or like they put the triangle in the middle and it only renders that out. So make sure you guys put it at the very end. Once you guys got that done, go ahead and render the video out. To do that, Click the little uh, fifth button right here, render as. It's a file with the arrow going uh, to the right corner. Click this. Now what you guys wanna do is make sure you don't have any boxes here ticked. Scroll down and you wanna look for Windows uh, Media Video V11 WMV. It's gonna be right here. Click the black arrow so it drops down. Scroll down, click on eight megabytes per second HD 1080p 30V video and click customize template. Click on video, make sure you guys on image size, click this, click custom, type in 1920 by 1080 on pixel aspect ratio, go ahead and click on square. On frame rate, you can adjust it to how many frames you recorded on your video. So if you recorded in 60 FPS, put 60 FPS. If you recorded in 30, put 30 and so forth. Do that. On video smoothness, go ahead and drag it out all the way to 100 and then go ahead and click on project. On video rendering quality, make sure you click on best. And now you're gonna name the template to whatever you guys want. I'm gonna type in YouTube and click the little save icon and click OK. Now, where it says YouTube, click the little star and click show favorites only. That way, every time you guys render, you're gonna have your preset right there ready to go. So you just click that and boom, you're done. So as you guys can see, I have three render settings right here. These are from my previous videos, but basically, click on YouTube and click render. What I normally do is click on browse and save it to the desktop. Uh, make sure you guys title it to whatever you guys want. So I'm just gonna put gameplay and click render. And now your video will render. I'm gonna warn you guys, if you have a slow computer, the render will take forever. 
That's simply that, that's how it is. If you have a fast computer, basically, rendering is dependent on your uh, CPU or your GPU, whatever you render with. Rendering does take a long time. Um, it all depends on how fast your computer is. So expect to wait 30 minutes up to two hours per video. Um, but just be patient, sit back, relax, go watch YouTube videos, do whatever. And when the render is done, you can go ahead and play the video and upload it to YouTube. Once you guys are done, just go ahead and click on open and you guys can see the video plays and there you go. That's how you guys make your own video, how to basically edit your videos with Sony Vegas Pro 14. It's super simple, it's super easy, and you guys are gonna get the hang of it within like a week or so or less. Just keep editing videos, keep producing content, and I promise you guys, you're gonna make it up there, you're gonna do fantastic. Thank you so much for watching, this is Karat Code. Make sure you guys drop a like below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Every subscriber counts. I have a goal of getting 150K subs by the end of 2016. So let's see if we can reach that, we're pretty close. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.